All right, getting all the plumbing done on the Humvee and uh, found this block that goes into the transmission and will run the lines vertically, which will keep them out of the front drive shaft, which is nice. Um, it's just a six AN fitting, like Army Navy, I guess is where these came from, but AN is what they're called. They're aluminum. Um, they're actually really easy to work with. Uh, I've seen them on race cars and stuff, but I've never used them. They're very easy to use and uh, very easy to put together. So I'm using braided hose because um, it's gonna hang over the trans transmission where it connects to the stock Humvee plumbing for the uh, transmission cooler and then runs up under the hood. But uh, if I wasn't, if it wasn't potentially, you know, just sitting on the transmission uh, with a chance to be abraded or, abra I don't know, you know what I mean? Like worn out by abrasion, um, then I probably wouldn't use the steel hose, but it's not very expensive and figure, you know, 30 bucks now is uh, potentially avoiding a headache later. So um, that's how it's gonna go together and it works pretty good. Um, nice and easy, so that's the plan. This was the stock fitting, and unfortunately, I don't think you can flip it upside down. You might be able to. I just can't remember how it sets up because it is offset from the bolt, which goes in the center. I was having a conflict issue with the drive shaft, which I'm not certain was going to remain, but it looked like it was when I needed to make some decisions. Here's the part ready to go on the transmission. That's going to go over the top of the transmission. Um, run the oil over to the stock fitting for the Humvee and take it up to the uh, underhood area. So that's ready to go on. So here is the driver's side of the transmissions of the 8L90 um, behind the LT, I guess LT1, um, L86 uh, in the Humvee. And so I've got this uh, 90 degree block and actually they make one that shoots the lines out a little bit at an angle and that probably would be even better I was afraid there wouldn't be enough space, but elevation-wise, it deconflicts with the drive shaft. It's not a big deal. But um, this is firmly against the transmission. This line, this one's okay. There's a gap, but uh, if it if it was shooting out that way, it would be a little less confliction. Um, I had to cut this bolt down. It's a metric eight by one point two five thread pitch, but I was able to cut it and then grind the tip uh, to a point, kind of like it was before. And then thread it back in, no problem. So we're just reusing that same bolt. Um, just being careful not to over torque that because it's going into aluminum. It's a steel bolt, I think. Um, anyway, now over to the other side. And what we've got is both lines coming over um, and six fittings to braided hose to and six uh, to a, I guess you call that a, maybe it's a flare. Basically it's the open-ended pipe with the barbs on it. Um, and both of these uh, lines fit over. And then the way this works, I guess, is there is a valve here, which is heat activated. Let's see if I can get out of the light. So this is heat activated. So normally, I guess it's uh, open. So that allows fluid to just pump through here. And I guess these lines being full of fluid, it prefers less pressure to just go right back in. Heats up the transmission more quickly. Then when this opens, it uh, allows uh, or let's see, it's open first and then closes. So now these basically go away and it just flows through these lines. So I guess it's default open, closes when it gets hot. And I was able to mount that with the transmission uh, cross member bolt. There's enough threads on it where now it's flush. So it's perfect. Um, that thing's mounted in there. And I don't know what temperature it works at, but we'll figure that out. And if it's not servant's purpose, it'll come out on another day. Here are the transmission lines. And you can see those disappear up there um, near the radiator stack. So that's going to take everything forward. And now I've just got to connect that to the radiator uh, for the transmission cooler.